Hey, it's Mr. Lumigan, and we're going to be doing some uh, more hydrolysis and looking at what kind of salts, uh, looking at different types of salts and what kind of solutions they're going to be making, whether it be an acid solution or a basic solution or a neutral solution. Okay, so this time we have a few more difficult types of salts, and uh, let's get into it. Okay, so this next one we have uh, Na2HPO4. Now, if we learned last time, Na, sodium, is in column number one. Okay, so sodium is going to be a spectator ion. Okay, so here's our spectator ion. Now, we have HPO4. Now, this one's interesting because HPO4 happens to be amphiprotic. If you remember what amphiprotic means, amphiprotic means it can act as an acid or it can act as a base. So, on our table, we see that HPO4 2 minus is right here, and here it is acting as an acid. So, HPO4 will combine with water and make H3O plus and PO4 3 minus. We also see that HPO4 can act as a base. HPO4 is going to combine with uh, an H plus here, or HPO4, in other words, will combine with a water and produce H2PO4 and a OH. Okay? So it's amphiprotic. So let me write that down. So one of them, when it acts as an acid, okay, it's going to look like this. HPO4 2 minus uh, is going to combine with water and make H3O plus and therefore since HPO4 loses a uh, proton, okay, it's only going to have it's going to not going to have any protons left and have PO4 2 minus. And this is when it's acting as a acid. Okay? And when it acts as a base, well, we're going to write this equation but in the reverse way. So again, we're going to start with HPO4 2 minus. Okay, and it's going to be combining with water again, but this time HPO4 is going to gain a proton. Okay, and it gains a proton from water, and water becomes OH minus, and this becomes H2PO4. Okay, minus, and this is when it acts as a base. So uh, now we have to figure out what is going to happen. Is, is HPO4 going to act as an acid or is it going to act as a base? So let's take a look at the acid Ka. When it acts as an acid Ka, it's going to act like this one down here. Okay, This one is the acid Ka. So the acid Ka is going to equal 2.2 times 10 to the minus 13. Okay. Now we want to figure out what is it going to do when it acts as a base. So what is the base? And we have to figure out, not Ka, but we have to figure out Kb. Now here's the th common mistake that many students make is that when they figure out uh, what is Kb, they use this number right here. But this is not going to, we, we can't use this number to calculate our Kb because we don't, ha we don't start with PO4 3 minus. We start with HPO4 and we move this way. So we need to start with this. Okay, 6.2 times 10 to the minus 8. Now, how do we calculate Kb? Well, Kb is equal to Kw over Ka of its conjugate uh, pair, okay, and the conjugate pair happens to be uh, this one right here, okay. So, again, expanding this and filling it in with a few numbers here, Kw is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14, and Ka we use this Ka, which is 6.2 times 10 to the minus Eight. Okay, and I've already calculated this out, 
and this equals 1.6 times 10 to the minus 7. Okay. So now what we have to do is we just simply compare Ka and Kb. Okay. And our Ka again is 2.2 .2 times 10 to the minus 13. And our Kb is this number we calculated, which is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 7. Now which number is bigger? Well, Kb is a lot bigger. Okay, so Kb is a lot bigger. Kb is greater than Ka, and therefore, what kind of solution is this going to make? Well, it's going to form a basic solution. Okay, and that's the answer right there. Okay, now another question is one like this FeH2O6Cl3, and this is dissolved in water. Now, a lot of people get really, really confused and scared when they start to see something like this. Okay, just remember, calm down, take a look at your table, and you'll find it right here on your table. Okay, and what you can see is, is that you can just pretty much copy this exact same thing out. Okay? Now, again, Cl minus is a spectator ion. So again, let's write this right here. Spectator. This is a spectator ion because it comes from the strong acid HCl. Okay? So Cl is going to be a spectator. Okay? So what we can draw is, or write is, our net ionic equation or in other words, our Fe H2O6. Now it's going to be uh, 3 plus. Okay. And this is going to be plus a water. And now a lot of students are also wondering, like, what does this make? Well, just look on your table. Okay, this is what it makes. It makes a H3O plus, again, H plus and H3O plus are the same, it's just water, and it makes FeH2O5 bracket OH2 plus, okay? Now, since it's going in this direction and since it makes H3O, it is a acidic solution. The reason why I put this one up here of this hydrolysis question is that many students on a test get something like this, and there's a few of them. There's another one with aluminum in it. But uh, many students get something like this, and they're very, very confused on what it makes. Okay, so I put this example here. Okay, it's very, very simple. Just copy it straight out of your table, your Bronstein Lowry table. Okay? Let's take another look at a, uh, another question where there are no spectator ions and instead the cation and the anion are both going to be competing whether it makes an acid or a base. Okay, so that's our next example. And here it is right here. So we have NH4NO2. Okay, so one of these, neither one is a spectator. NH4 is going to be producing this one right here. And NO2 is going to be producing something like this. Okay, so uh, again, this is the acid form of it, but what our NO2 is going to be doing, our NO2 minus is going to be combining with the water, and it's going to be making. HNO2 and OH minus. Okay? So this one up here is making H3O plus. Okay, we can write that one out if you want. NH4 uh, plus plus H2O. And that makes uh, NH3 
plus uh, H3O plus. So our anion is going to be producing hydroxide, and our cation is going to be producing hydronium. Now the question is, is our solution going to be acidic, or is our solution going to be basic? Or in other words, which one is going to win? Is our NO2 going to be a stronger base than our NH4 going to be a stronger acid? Okay, so let's do a quick calculation to figure out. Anyways, so let's look at the easy one first, the acid and the Ka. So this one is our acid, and so we're going to use simply this one right here for acid. So Ka equals 5.6 times 10 to the minus 10. And our base, which is our KB, and well, here's our base. It's producing hydroxide, and this is it right here. But this is, remember, these are Ka values. We need to change this 4.6 times 10 to the minus 4 into a KB number. Okay, and KB equals. KW over KA, and that equals 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 4.6 times 10 to the minus 4. Okay, again, I've already calculated this out, and it is 2.2 .2 times 10 to the minus. 11. Okay, and that's our KB. Okay, and again, here's our KA. Okay, so let's compare the two. KA and KB. Again, 5.6 times 10 to the minus 10, and 2.2 .2 times 10 to the minus 11. Now, which one is bigger? Well, our K is a bit bigger than our KB. So, KA is bigger than KB. And therefore, this makes, or this forms, an acidic solution. 